Hi guys and welcome to our new video. Hope you like our new camera and our new setup. So we will continue to make this video even better and understandable for you to follow up our documentation. Today's topic will be WP Bakery page builder integration with our WP data tables. I'm here as always with Alexander I guess. and we can start right away. Okay, uh, so basically what you need, you need a table, you need some charts and uh, the page builder itself is there to um, help you create a table. So we have, uh, we've, we've, been, we've been using the Sandbox website, which you guys can log into um, yourselves. And this is the purchases table. We also created a few charts for uh, the purposes of this video. So let's go to pages and create a new page real quick where we will use uh, WP Bakery in the backend mode to add the table and to add some um, charts. Okay, so WP Bakery integration. So let's go to backend editor and add an element. So in here we can add a row and in that row we can add a WP data table. You can see them right here mm -hmm. but you can also type WP data table and the widget is right here. So on the first tab you have to choose the table in our case purchases and the table view if it's going to be a regular or an Excel like table. On the other tab you have placeholders so you guys can check out our documentation about placeholders to see what they are and how you can use them and that's pretty much it. We save changes and we can add another row where we can add some charts. So in here WP data chart or even better we can add a new element, a new row which we can split into let's say three sections. So in here we add a chart <clears throat> and we choose the chart. So for the purposes of this video as mentioned before we created a few charts. So purchases area we add another chart and choose purchases scatter and the last one will be purchases polar. So we save the changes, we publish the page and we can take a look at it on the front end see how it looks like. Okay we're waiting for it to load and I can mention that these charts all have uh, except for this one, they all have uh, filtering, follow table filtering enabled. So here you can only see the 10 entries, mm -hmm. but in the last chart you can see all entries from the table. So if we reduce this to five entries, you will see only five here, while this chart <coughs> will remain the same. And that's, that's basically pretty it. Pretty much yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Past one for, for, for this Thursday. So guys, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And also for today's video, since we not burn out all of our discount coupons, check the previous video where you can see the discount for 20% of all our licenses and add-ons. And also see you in another video. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Take care.